Hey, so this is a video that's intended to show people how to set up a Rainbow Mage's mini parse overlay plugin for ACT. It's kind of like a long name, I guess. So that's this thing in this top left corner right here. You can see my parser. So normally when you have a parser for ACT, it looks something uh, like, sorry, like this. And this looks kind of uh, blocky, kind of ugly looking. Uh, so you know, this, this other parser overlay is really pretty looking, so you want something like that. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to try to make this as noob friendly as possible. But if you know what you're doing, you should probably go build the plugin yourself. Because downloading files from random people off the internet is always uh, kind of dangerous. Um, but I mean, in order for it to be effective, you actually probably have to read through the source code. Uh, because otherwise, you know, they can include viruses in the source code. But anyways, for this noob friendly tutorial, what you want to do is follow the link that I provided somewhere below, or uh, on the video, or somewhere in the comments, um, and it should take you to this page. So on this page, uh, you could download my build folder by clicking the little download button on the top, uh, and then you should start the download. This is the build folder I use, which I got from someone else. Uh, you can find, you know, the references I have in the comments somewhere of this video. Uh, so anyways, once you downloaded it, uh, click on it to open up the zip file, um, and then Inside should be this folder, just copy this folder. And then paste it somewhere safe. So, so I mean, not safe, but somewhere where you could temporarily uh, modify it. So I have on my desktop, I created a folder, new folder, and then uh, just paste it here. So the reason why I pasted it here first is because you gotta go inside and then uh, look at all the DLL files. So I sorted it by type. Um, so you can see that these are the DLL file. Um, go through each one, right click them, and unblock. So right click, property, unblock. And then make sure you click the apply button or else it won't work. Just going through each of them and uh, unblocking. So this is just a security feature that, you know, DLLs can contain viruses sometimes. But we're gonna need these files for um, our plugin. So, anyways, uh, after they're all unblocked, you, you probably should just double check, make sure that they're you know they don't have uh, the unblocked words. But anyways, uh, unblock them all, and then you're good. Now, step uh, outside this folder again and copy this folder. Or I guess I'm gonna cut it because uh, I don't want it to be here anymore. Um, and uh, go to where you've installed your ACT. Um, you should see something like this. So I've installed it in. Uh, CE program files, advanced contact tracker. Um, and you won't see these two folders because these are just my backups for making this video. But anyways, paste your build file right here. Might have some uh, administrator thing, just click continue. Uh, and then your build file should be in there. Now you want to, what you want to do is uh, open up ACT. Go into plugins. And you should see something like this. Um, and then you click uh, browse. Find where you where you have that build folder. So you know, see program files, ACT. Uh, go, go inside it, and then click overlay plugin, and click open, and then click uh, add enable plugin. So right here uh, is where you will see all the errors pop up if you did the unblocking thing wrong. Uh, but if you did it correctly and unblocked all the you know, files that need to be unblocked, it should just pop up like this, and you're good to go. Uh, you should maybe see something in the top corner. It might say no data shown if you don't have any data yet. Uh, or you might see this. Uh, but anyways, go into the plugins again, the plugins tab in ACT, and click on overlay plugin.dll. And then uh, you have some options here that you can look through. Um, what, what you want to do is uh, just you know just read through them, see what they're doing. You could change the size and width, yeah, but when you make a change, you probably have to close and open ACT again for it to update. Um, you could also, uh, I think, manually drag the, the, the size by if you look closely, there's a little arrow. Uh, first of all, you have to disable the click through, otherwise you can't click it. And then you can now position, uh, click on position, whatever you want. And then just to, uh, if, it's really hard to see the little arrow thing, but it's down there somewhere that you can use to resize it. Um, and I'll show you how to get rid of that little arrow thing in just one sec. But anyways, uh, once we're done, just turn on the click through thing again, so you don't accidentally click it while you're fighting and drag it somewhere. 
Now, uh, what you want to do is you want to go test it out. So I'll go to like a striking dummy or something. And I have with me uh, another, another character and my chocobo. And just attack it. And then uh, you should see uh, all the combatants listed. And you can resize it, you know, based on how you want uh, everything to be displayed. So in order to resize it, you gotta make sure you click the click through thing again. Make it bigger or smaller. Uh, but I think it doesn't actually save it. You actually have to resize it manually by doing these numbers. So I'm not too sure about that. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. So just a little bit of uh, extra stuff. Um, I mean, you can see sometimes the, the pets and stuff uh, of from the parser. Uh, what you should be doing though is, uh, it, I guess, you know, when you watch the install ACT video, they should have probably mentioned this, that in your plugins, FFXIV settings, you want to click on the Combine Pets with Owner button. So make sure that's clicked. Uh, because, you know, keeping them separate kind of hides how much DPS the summoners are usually do. Because, you know, you have to do your normal math to do it. So make sure that is selected. Okay, I'm just going to restart AC. So now, uh, when you attack something, Pets don't show up, it's added to the summoner's DPS. So another thing is inside the build file that you downloaded from me. So take a look at it. Uh, inside build, inside and then go inside resources. This mini parse.html is the file that controls the look of this thing. Um, I, I mean I don't know anything about HTML or J JavaScript or uh, coding in general. Uh, but if you open it up. Open with, uh, let's just say, notepad. you could look at um, how the code is done to make it look uh, like the way it is. So, if you know anything about HTML or JavaScript, you can modify it. So, you want to remove that little thing that drags to resize. It's right here, uh, somewhere in the beginning, right here, background, dash init, URL hand. Just put two slashes in front. Or erase it all together, um, erase this line all together. But uh, this will comment out this line so that once you uh, rerun ACT, the little thing won't appear. So I'm going to close it. Make sure you save. Close ACT. And open ACT again. Uh, so this time you don't see that little icon that where you could drag and resize it. I mean, if you have this thing at the bottom corner, I guess it doesn't matter too much, but I have it in my top corner, so it kind of bugs me. Um, so another thing is inside the build folder. Inside the build folder resources, I have uh, another mini parse that uh, you could rename. So what you want to do is uh, first change this name to something else. And then rename the other one mini parse. And then uh, restart your ACT. So this mini parse is just uh, a bigger one with uh, more stuff in it. So you can see it's all crunched up in there. Uh, what you want to do is uh, in the overlay plugin settings, you probably want to increase the width. And restart it again. So now I made it a bit longer. So this just contains more things, and then you could open up those HTML files and see what I did to make it bigger if you understand anything about HTML. Um, I don't any understand anything, I just got this, this stuff from other people who knew what they were doing. But anyways, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, I guess uh, have fun with uh, doing it, and uh, hopefully it works for you.